so excited to know about the kids in the I'm so excited. And what is the contribution of peace in Mindanao? My expectation is this how this peace in Mindanao works, especially in Mindanao. With this uh, great legacy uh, been doing, I expect that uh, I will learn more about uh, the process of peace and uh, it will be uh, useful for us or advantage for us that we may go in our area. Thank you so much. My expectation for this uh, film viewing will be the restoration of this education, especially in Mindanao. I think uh, as a teacher, this would help me to dream in my lesson. I can share whatever. Uh, a lesson I'm going to learn uh, tonight. During the start of the documentary movie, I cried because I remembered my experience during my childhood. And uh, I cried so much because I remembered my parents, my, my friends, experiencing the war, the all of the war. This evening is indeed great. I felt so touched with what I saw, the promotion of peace here in Mindanao. Indeed, uh, from uh, terrorism to tourism, we have seen the process and uh, the challenge. The last part, I uh, commit to work for peace. I commit to work for love and unity in our country. I think youth is one of big contributors for the future peace here in the Philippines. The HWPL has given me a lot of ideas on what I can help on the future youth generation. Thank you so much DPCW. Today we are very pleased and honored that you invited us today to this. And to be very honest, in this movie, somewhat I more understood the, 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 the incidents that happened in the past and the role played by the chairman, Man Lee. What he did is really amazing, that he acted as a third party and he, he interpreted between both the conflict areas and he tried and gave the resolution. In terms of accomplishment here in the Philippines, in Mindanao particularly, it's, uh, it's unimaginable. We as Filipinos, we have been, uh, we, we can't do that. It's very impossible. And for that, we owe you a life. Upon seeing the documentary, it, it reminds me of how I participated. I was actually one of those thousands of people who shouted um, peace in my school. And I am so happy and privileged to be part of spreading peace up to this date, from 2016 up to 2022. I would like to, uh, to say for the youth is that keep on promoting peace because your voice will be heard. As you shout for peace, peace will prevail. Peace is always possible. Well, first and foremost, uh, I find the documentary very nice. It's emotional and heartwarming. It's so it's heartwarming to see the courage of a person, a man who's not coming for the Philippines, but uh, brave enough, you know, to rally and to advocate for peace. And uh, the chairman itself, you know, uh, himself understand the struggle of uh, the Filipino people in attaining peace because that's true. Philippines, uh, Filipinos, especially the Moro community, uh, they struggled, no, um, uh, very. They struggled for a long time just to attain peace. So uh, it's it's very heartwarming to see a, an international leader who's kind enough to speak for peace. I'm flabbergasted. It's so beautiful. The cultural differences coming together. And it's so beautiful because now peace is not just a, an idea or a thought or a dream. It's something tangible. It's with skin on.